Ooh, you ask me every single video, what computer, what Mac, what should I buy, Gary? And I've got to say, it's almost like y'all don't watch the videos. So to get out in front of this for 2023, I'm going to remind you that if you were looking to buy a regular old computer to do regular old computer stuff, be it student stuff, work stuff, or heck, anything that's almost not hardcore gaming, the M1 Mac Mini is literally literally the best value computer ever made. And while we're overusing the word literally, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, you. I haven't had a chance to say this yet, but we recently hit 500,000 subscribers and I wanted to take a chance to really thank everybody that watches. I honestly, all joking, all YouTubery aside, I cannot begin to believe that we are all still here uh, almost six years later. And I do wanna say, seriously, thank you. But back to the M1 Mini. I'm gonna hit you with five major reasons why this is the singular computer to go buy this year almost exclusively. And as an added bonus, those will all start with the letter P. Why? Gary, why are you, why did we do that? Let me, I'm gonna check the script, bro. I don't, I don't know. I just, I thought it sounded cool. Easily the best and the first reason to start out here is price. And that's because when you look at all computers in the market, you almost cannot match the M1 Mac Mini when you look at the specs. And then if you widen your aperture and zoom out to look at the cost, you definitely can't compete. Brand new, this thing comes at $699 from Apple. You'll get the eight core M1 chip, eight core GPU, 256 gigabytes of storage, and eight gigabytes of unified memory. You know the specs, I know the specs. I have that sentence memorized because I've said it probably 50 times in the past year. But good news everyone, because this thing is almost two years old at this point, holy crap, has it been two years? Man, time has been escaping me. You can find these refurbished or secondhand pretty darn easy and almost anywhere. From Apple themselves, you can get it for $589 and it will get treated like it's brand new. Another plug here. Apple doesn't pay me or anything, but their refurbished store is absolutely the place to go to to buy their product. If you want to buy from a different big box store that doesn't rhyme with Snapple, you could get it from Best Buy for $573 open box. Best Buy does have several different tiers of used or open box, so check first to make sure it's in a condition that you approve of and obviously want to spend money on. I've said this in plenty of other videos, even other videos telling you that you should buy this computer, but two years after the Mac Mini was released, the new M2 is on the market. Intel and AMD have released some very nice high-end and budget processors. Even after all that, this is still without competition, the single best price computer that you can buy today. And with the way inflation, supply shortages, and just other global phenomena are going, this might be the single best price computer ever made. I would say there is another fantastic option within the Apple computer system itself that's darn near as good. And if you want less hassle on how to set it up, it might be better. The M1 iMac can be had for $1099 refurbished. And while yes, it's almost double the price, it comes with a beautiful 24 inch display, a keyboard, and a mouse, so you just take it out of the box and it's ready to go. Personally, I like having my own monitor and I am a mechanical keyboard snob, so that doesn't work for me personally, but I did buy an iMac for my wife. I could probably write an entire script where I gush solely on the price tag alone, but I won't because that's boring and there are other things to talk about. The second point of pontification that starts with P is performance. Why am I doing this? You might think that because you are spending about half of what you would normally spend on a Mac that you'll get about half the performance, right? Well, you're wrong. The M1 processor is this weird nexus of size and power. It is essentially a beefed up Apple iPad processor, but like an iPad processor given the structure of a computer CPU. The makeup here is you'll get four performance cores and four efficiency cores. This matters more in a laptop where you have to balance heat and battery life, but it is really nice here that the performance cores are pretty darn powerful and the efficiency cores mean that the laptop is always ready to work. I mean, really, it's got multi-core chops that not too many other computers out there that compete with especially at this price point, get, I mean, get used to hearing that. And its single core performance is straight up near the top of the charts. And it's topping those charts without considering the price, which is wild because in tech age, this is a two year old dinosaur. I'm not saying that all tech is obsolete after two years, despite what marketers would have you believe. But what I'm saying is a budget computer two years later is rarely as relevant today as it was upon release, as is the Mac Mini. But wait, the performance gets even better if you are using software that's been optimized to work within the ARM architecture that the M1 and all of Apple processors are designed for. I know not everybody on the planet is a video editor, but it's a good way to show just how impressive these chips really are. I ran my entire whole YouTube endeavor 
for months off of this Mac Mini, and honestly, I could still easily do so today. When this was first released, my home custom PC used to struggle to do the things that this little computer could do, and it was much bigger, much more expensive, and its cooling system, like the fans inside of my PC, were bigger than the Mac Mini by itself. Gaming-wise, well, much like other Macs, the Mini isn't a gaming rig, but it's not too shabby as far as Mac computers go. Because of the size of the shell and the fairly tiny system that's inside of this, it has amazing thermal performance. And if that were the end of it, I think that would be enough. But the Mac Mini also has a gigantic fan that the hardware is riding on top of right out here. Basically, you'll almost certainly not be able to overheat this computer. I won't say you'll never be able to overheat it because I'm sure. If I were to YouTube right now, I'm sure there would be a clickbait video saying they got this thing to overheat by running eight benchmarks at once while having it in an oven at 350 degrees. And that's just not okay. Apple lied because I can't both bake a pie on top of my Mac mini and run super intense benchmarks. YouTuber face activated. <laughs> But if you were playing games or running software that works natively on this computer, it will not shrug at all. And of course, family stuff like video chatting, paying bills, browsing the webs, and watching the latest Chainsaw Man drop, it's plenty powerful for those daily tasks. And in fairness, an i3 Mac Mini from 2015 is probably enough for all those, and I am trying to say that a lot, folks. Power is all relative, and you don't need much if you aren't a dedicated power user of some sort, which is why I'm always harping about the Mini, as it's got exactly the amount of power you need and then you don't have to pay for a bunch of other stuff that you don't want to pay for cards on the table if i didn't make youtube videos i probably wouldn't own a computer the trifecta of p's of power though are the ports that are built into the back of this bad boy we, yeah we're doing it we're riding this framing device all the way to the end there isn't much to say about the build quality other than it's great but specifically these are the ports you need something that i think is you can take a look at the back of the mac mini and that's what every computer needs laptops included USB A, thunderbolt 3 hdmi ethernet up to 10 gigabit ethernet and a headphone jack you can literally do everything including multi-window desktop setups from these ports alone yes i can hear you right now typing in the comments saying how useless USB A is how can i tell the future you ask well because somebody comes along every single time telling me that i should not care about USB A ports well buddy keyboards microphones and mice all still plug in via USB-A. And those are all the things that you need to actually get work done. I get it, your gaming rig or your wireless setup may not need USB-A, but the real world needs USB-A. So take that, straw man. Seriously though, I like all the ports in this computer and you don't have to buy anything extra on top of the computer to make it work. You don't need dongles, you don't need adapters. You do need a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor and a desk to put the computer and monitor on and then a house to put the desk in and you get the idea. One of the things that I would like to see on a future Mac Mini though is can we get some of the ports facing the front like the Mac Studio and just can we get an M1 Max version of this exact thing please? Okay, side rant over. Fourthly P parameter is prettiness. Look at this thing. It looks so good. I'm not a minimalist by any stretch of the imagination. Can you not see my background here in my very messy office? But this is just so sleek, so svelte, and this could go anywhere. Like this could go in a minimalist office, this could go in a messy person's office just like mine. We've now crossed into the fifth dimension, parody. Okay, here it's gonna explain either how this is as good as or better than its competition, but I feel like I did that throughout the rest of the video, but I still said it because I wanted to keep the fifth P framing device I don't know, you do weird stuff when you've been making YouTube videos for almost six years. Seriously, without any exaggeration, I do think the M1 Mac Mini is the best computer that you can buy, and it's not even a close call. This is, by a wide margin, this computer is still on the top. It's the best value, it runs the best, it has the best usability, the best I.O. Apple really kind of broke the computer game when they released this, and if you need a desktop computer going into 2023, you owe it to yourself to check this out, because it'll be on top for years to come. But what about you? Do you have or have you considered an M1 Mac Mini? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video and you want to see a whole bunch of cool accessories that you, that you can use to get the most out of this, click right here. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Thanks for watching.